Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot scope. Uh, please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So Gemini, it seems like this week uh, you will be um, called upon uh, some sense of insatisfaction and the decisions you're trying to implement uh, towards that feeling of being insatisfied with your own life. And it seems like it has to do a lot with the home life, with your uh, home environment and where you are and um, a place that you call uh, your own. Because it seems like you, your challenge is to uh, feel this independent, um, embody this independent spirit where you achieve some kind of wealth, physical, spiritual, emotional wealth on your own without having to depend on anybody else. So as a main opportunity, you have the Ten of Cups reversed. So this card in reverse is uh, about you missing the blessings you have right in front of you many times. Many times it's about you feeling, again, insatisfied, uh, feeling this void inside of you uh, that you are constantly in a hunger to satisfy. But the blessing and the joy is there. This could uh, have to do with your home life again, with your family environment, with your relationship, and um, where you reside in. And the, the, the fulfillment that that place, that person, that situation um, is giving you or not giving you. But many times this card in reverse is as positive as applied. But as applied, you feel completely and utterly happy and content. It's the happy ending of the fairy tales. When it's in reverse, you keep longing for the fairy tale. You keep longing for another ending and another happy ending, not realizing that maybe you already have it in some sense. So as um, the main challenge, you have the Nine of Pentacles. And as a main challenge, again, is, is you feeling content and satisfied with what you have achieved into the moment. Is you Maybe you wish you were more independent than you are at the moment. Maybe you wish you were uh, building your wealth on your own without um, without res other kind of responsibilities uh, that may be tied with uh, family or people uh, that depend on you in some sense. And the challenge is for you to feel content, abundant um, on your own efforts in your own acquisitions at the moment. And again, realizing that maybe that insatisfaction is coming from a place of deep uh, needs you need to work on and realize and fulfill for yourself and not expecting exactly that outside circumstances will fulfill that need and will fulfill that uh, constant hunger that you, that you may be feeling. Because many times that, that insatisfaction has a deep root inside of us, um, needing to be looked at and nurtured in some sense, but on our own, on our own sense, not through anybody else and not through any kind of material acquisition. The main advice is judgment, also reverse, which is a big advice, being a major arcana. And it's about, again, you are re really being conscious about the decisions you are uh, making. You really being aware of where you're putting your foot in, in some sense. It's about you uh, being really thorough and careful with the decisions you implement right now in your life. Because, again, they might be coming from a place of deep insatisfaction inside of you and not actually from something uh, going wrong with your environment, with your home, with your family, with your relationship. So be really aware and really mature. This then advice is maturity. Maturity. 
be really grounded in implementing uh, decisions uh, at this week. I would advise you not to make any definite uh, decision uh, during this period because your judgment could be a little bit clouded on your longings, on your personal longings and desires. And maybe next week you'll have a clearer picture of um, what decisions you really need to make and what decisions are really for the betterment of your life and not for uh, this constant uh, run, running away from your own issues. So, Gemini, it's uh, a week to really look to the blessings you have in your life, to acknowledge them, to realize that they are there. And once you realize and acknowledge the blessings that you have in your life, you'll have a much clearer picture about that insatisfaction you may be feeling, about that independence you may be trying to attain, and what decisions and what choices to actually implement in your life. And again, it's about you being really mature, you not being um, taking rash decisions, not uh, acting by impulse, not acting by um, desires in the sense of, again, impulse. Take into account your desires, but this week it's about you uh, keeping them to, towards yourself and then making like a self-analysis about What's, what's really a desire from your soul and from your heart that you want and you need to achieve and to, to look after and then implement a change? And what's the desire that comes from a place of childhood hurts, uh, old programs, uh, behavior, um, old past baggage, issues, trauma? It's about you taking those desires, taking that insatisfaction, in my opinion, and uh, looking at them with mature eyes, with a mature attitude, and then implement the changes and the decisions you may be needing to take, but uh, probably towards the next week. It's about you really focusing on the blessings, realizing the blessings that the blessings that surround you that you may be missing out. So, Gemini, I wish you a great week. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I'm really happy uh, with every single time some someone uh, comments on my videos. It's really I'm really humble about it. So yeah, have a great week, and we'll see each other in the next video.